Welcome to our newest uh, podcast episode. Uh, my name is Jonas. Um, I'm joined by two, two fantastic youth leaders here as well uh, today, Paloma and David. Um, I'm going to introduce them in a minute. But first, of course, uh, we want to introduce the podcast episode. So we're now in Cast Bridging Voices. Um, our newest episode is together with um, our two uh, young persons here from Paraguay and uh, from Costa Rica um, on the developments in the EU Latin America relationship, especially because they were together with a program of CAS Partidos from Uruguay and the CAS Mnet office this week in Brussels, um, and also met a lot of like interesting people, which they um, can, of course, tell us a little bit more about it. But first of all, I want to introduce them. So we have David Rodriguez here. He's the treasurer of the party Unidad Social Castellana uh, from Costa Rica. And then we have Paloma Savin here, who is the youth chairwoman from the Partida Querida from Paraguay. Yes. And uh, I hope I managed to speak that yeah. quite comfortably. <laughs> um, and yeah, basically, um, we want to also like chat today uh, with you two about your experiences this week. But also, what are the current developments in Latin America? And maybe we can start with you, David. Um, so what do you think? What are the main youth challenges for young people in political parties in Latin America? Well, I think um, many parties, for especially from the experience we've had, well, first, thank you for having us here, and would be maybe the growth of uh, the of individual projects within a party for in many parties in Latin America, from what I've been hearing from my, you know, the mates that were with us these days. It's definitely a challenge, right? So that growing, becoming, taking position of office and whatnot i think that would be a challenge within parties obviously having a stronger voice within the party we i like to think that in costa rica with the, our party we've done a some good steps in that sense because we we actually just elected a new a executive and national executive committee from which i'm part as a treasurer but the average age is around 36 37 so i think that's a good sign in our party, we also we have nine um, congressmen, and four of them are basically young. You know, so that that is like a something that I sh I think all of our parties hopefully can have that sooner than later, right? Because obviously, I think the youth is part of the soul of a party, you know, and we need to give them more space. You know, right now I'm 31, and being probably the youngest treasurer of our party, and obviously it's a big responsibility, but it's also a big opportunity to open more doors for young people, you know. And I think we need to do that all over our countries and all over our parties in Latin America. Yeah, that's like a huge and important message that you're also sending to Europeans, because we're not also like that great with like young people in political parties and especially positions of power. Um, Paloma, we were like in the parliamentarium. We uh, actually <laughs> like looked at the number of parliamentarians between uh, 18 and 29, and we were also like quite disappointed. I need to say. Yeah. Um, so, what so are your many. experiences <laughs> from from this week, and also like um, like as a young uh, person from Paraguay? What what do you think? Well, thank you for having us. Um, well, this week was amazing. I think we all learned a lot, also from each other, but especially from I don't know. Uh, how the European Union see us, uh, us, you know, how it still sees Latin America and how we are not, uh, I don't know, um, as um, we are not partners still as we should, I guess. I don't know. Um, well, um, I just want to mention something that you just said. Um, that is why it's important for our political parties that actually the youth is uh, involved in the des in all decisions making processes and yesterday we were talking with uh, Lydia per Pereira uh, she's uh, um, one of the youngest uh, MPs we we met this week and she mentioned that yes of course um, we as young leaders we need to be where decisions are being made because also because we are the future of our parties and also all decisions that uh, are taken actually affect us. So why shouldn't be, shouldn't we? I don't know. Decide what what is going to be done. So yeah. I do believe that is a challenge we have in Latin America now. Like I see that young people they are not um, really interested in uh, working in political parties. You know, 
becoming more and more involved in political parties. I do believe that we are concerned about our future. We're concerned about what is going on with our governments and everything. But I think uh, there is this gap still um, of political participation. I don't see um, a lot of young people wanting to become part of our political parties. And I think there's a shame because uh, I think political parties are crucial for our democracies and it's actually the best place to change, it, you know, it's the best place from where we can actually, actually change things. So yeah, uh, well, this week was amazing. I don't know how is your Spanish going, Jonas, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you pronounce it right. It's Patria Querida. Uh, it's my political party, and yeah, I, I'm I'm really happy because I think we all learn a lot, and I'm I'm bringing a lot of experiences with me home, and I want to share it with my with my peers from my youth. Yeah, my Spanish is definitely going better. Like <laughs> probably two more weeks with you guys, and uh, my Spanish <laughs> should be perfect. Uh, no, but of course, I mean, also for me as a as a program manager here at CAS, it was really interesting to also see how, like, this was the first forum for young politicians also coming from different parts of the region, coming together here in Europe and, like, also, like, uh, bringing all these different, like, diversity and, like, the different political, like, aspects from your countries to a forum, which I think is also um, something which I think Tanya Nunez from Argentina also mentioned that that's not happening that often and that should only be the start. And I think that was also like super interesting to listen to you this week uh, in the different talks, um, which is also kind of like a, obviously a reward for um, people like um, me or Christine from the Caspartidos um, when we kind of like do something like that.